Welcome to Ludo à la maison. Today we are in my maison, in my house, and we're going to do a tuna tartare. A little French, a little Asian. So what we need for that? Uh, Grace, do you have the ingredients? Please. Merci. Thank you very much. Thank you. You get a lot of stuff. That's great. Everybody call it Amazon Fresh, but today is Amazon French. Farm rich, French toast, stick. I never see that in my life. French bread, it's interesting how we do French bread in America. Oh, we have some uh, potato au gratin. I don't know, we have potato inside. Oh, yeah, interesting. And here we have, oh la vache. Oh yeah, I need that today too, shoestring. I need some shoestring for my tuna, so it's perfect. From uh, Oregon, Idaho. Yeah, I know all the potato are from Idaho. <laughs> wow, French onion soup. And Grace, you get some more stuff or just that for cooking today? Sure. No, seriously, Grace. Of course, we need some tuna. Make sure to use a sushi grade tuna. We do steak tartare definitely in France, but tuna tartare is not very popular. I learned to manipulate raw fish more in America. So we're going to start with a shoestring potato. We're going to peel them. So one of my favorite potatoes to fry, a shoestring. I love the crunch. I love when you go to the restaurant and we do this big plate of shoestring like that. I love it, it's so good. Go faster. Voilà. Now, cut them with a mandoline very, very fine. Don't cut yourself. So be careful your hand. I cannot cut myself today. Voilà, that's it. Very easy. We don't want the potato to stick together, so we're going to rinse them in cold water. So you see the side. Huh? Shoestring is faster than French fry. French fry is a long process to do. Normally it takes three days if you want to do correctly, like we do in France or Belgium. We don't need to blanch them like French fry. And now we're going to make the mayonnaise. No egg white, just egg yolk. Beautiful eggs from Amazon Fresh. Dijon mustard, white wine vinegar. And we're going to mix with the whisk very well. My favorite thing is French fry and mayonnaise. Love French fry with mayonnaise. Now we're going to add slowly the olive oil. Be patient. More you put in oil, more the mayonnaise is going to be thicker. Everything is good with mayonnaise. I don't know if in America you like mayonnaise. I think French fry and mayonnaise is so good. And we do that as a restaurant, but I realize some people don't like mayonnaise. Allez, c'est bon, the mayonnaise is thick enough. Just a little bit, lemon juice in the mayonnaise, with a bit of acidity. So you see the texture. Now we are going to chop the cornichon with a knife, not too fine. Shallot, very fine. Chop some parsley a little bit. We are going to dice the tuna now. Slice it. I, I like sushi, but sometimes I don't like when it's too big. My best tuna tartare I had it was a restaurant called Clamato in Paris. Amazing tuna tartare. The quality of the fish, the dressing, the look, amazing. The tuna is good. So we're going to fry now our two string. I'm going to make sure to really dry them very well. Because as you know, water and oil are not friends, not at all. Make sure they're very dry. So we use peanut oil at 340. So the cacahuète. Peanuts, cacahuètes en français. On y va. If you don't have a fryer, you just use a pot. It's not very common with tartare, but I love it. It gives some crunchiness and a little garnish with the tartare. We're almost ready. They start to have a little bit of coloration now. And how we know it's ready? When you have less bubble. When it's less bubble, it means it's ready. Let's see, let me try one. Good. Put in the bowl here. Look at this beauty. We have all our ingredients ready now. Normally my tartare I add a little bit capers, but Grace forgot the capers. <laughs> so it's an option. We're going to use a little bit of a garlic chili. Make it a little bit more spicy, a little bit Asian today, just for fun. It's French, but not very French. I mean, the mayonnaise is French, the cornichon is French, the chili flake is Japanese. I think it's a good little twist in the tuna tartare. Just don't put too much, just a little bit, it's enough. Sabotage. We have a beautiful shiny color now. Voilà, we'll try. Pardon. 
So I don't mix my tuna. I'm going to let people to mix it. Cornichon here, shallot, a bit of parsley. So the shoestring, I want a big pile on top. Not very pretty, but it's going to taste good. Tartare with a shoestring potato. It's exactly time to eat. I'm going to put some piece of tartare with the mayonnaise. That's good. The shoestring really gives some crunchiness to the dish. It's just very good. Bon appétit.